The decision to get a divorce can be wrenching, especially when there are kids involved. To help navigate the co-parenting process, there's the Kids First Center in Scarborough. Rob Nesbitt joins us now with more on one family who first walked through the center's doors about 20 years ago. Rob and Peggy, Bob and Sue Stein, they first went to the Kids First Center in 1999. They had three kids at the time. The first year, they became co-parents. Today, they are co-grandparents. Well, you know you're about to do the most horrible thing you can do to your child. No matter how many self-help books or literature you read about the topic of divorce, few things can prepare you for the feeling of making that decision. Ending a marriage is one thing, but dividing up a family adds another difficult layer to separation. That's where the Kids First Center can help. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> it's where Bob and Sue Stein came the same year the center opened in 1999. They knew it would be difficult to break the news to their three kids. They reacted very differently mm -hmm. and they spread out. Like Pete went outside and got on the swing set. Um, our oldest, Maggie, just ran to her room, slammed the door, and Amelia stayed right there screaming at the top of her lungs. I remember that? Mm -hmm. I just like Two parents with three kids in three different places. It's part of the reason why seeking the help of a third party was important to the Steins. Kids First Center is a place to minimize the emotional and sometimes physical trauma kids feel during the separation of their parents. According to Kids First Center facilitator Susan Wiggin, around 75% of families in the U.S. are separated, divorced, or never married. And so once we can help people understand that it's really about how to navigate the things that we agree on and disagree on as co-parents, um, that's really the name of the game, that the conflict is the worst thing for our kids. When you read the messages that kids have written in their own words around the Kids First Center classroom, you see the effects of conflict. Easy. Yeah. I mean, quick bus ride. Peter Stein was just four years old when his parents decided to separate. He doesn't remember that time or the kids' classes he attended. What he does remember is how normal his parents made the divorce process for him and his family. I never had this traumatic experience, um, and because my parents were able to stay so close, it was really easy for me. And it was there was never a big problem. I mean, there's that day-to-day -day kind of, oh, I left my book at the other person's house, but it was 10 minutes away. He never saw a fight, disagreement, or heard an argument. Bob and Sue Stein learned how to co-parent because of the classes they took at the center. I'm super grateful my parents have been able to stay close, and my family's still extremely close as a result of that, which is great. Two decades of parenting, and now grandparenting together. Now, despite our family being kind of weird, you know, in the setup, they said, oh, you know, we really like our family. And, mm -hmm. and we've even done some yeah, family, family trips, trips over the last few years. Creating their own normal and putting their kids first. Kids First Center was located on St. John Street in Portland, but recently moved to its new building on Route 1 in Scarborough. For more information on the classes they offer for parents, step-parents, and kids, Rob and Peggy, I put a link in the 207 section where folks can click to find out more. Those photos of the family trips that they've taken in recent years, those Tell speak a thousand words. Yeah. yeah, no arguments, no disagreements. They're going on planes to Vegas, places like Grand Canyon, all kinds of great trips together. And right. It's really such important work that they do. And they, as you said, they've been doing it for a while. Really yeah, 20 years. Great organization. And that family first went the first year they opened.